This is Raylene Kitty. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is a channel about cross-stitching and other stuff. Today is October 13th, 2020, which is not a Friday, which I wish it was because I would totally awesome with the October. Hey, November 13th is a Friday. <laughs> Um, I like to say thank you to everybody who came back to me and watched this video, who subscribed, who wrote a comment, or just pushed like. It's very much appreciated, and I'm glad people like me. Um, I like to welcome anybody who is new to my channel, and I want to say, hey, join me. I'm a little crazy, but that's okay. I'd rather be crazy. It's so much more fun. Um, it's been a crazy two weeks. I film about every on Tuesday, which is my day off every other week. Um, last time I filmed, I was planning on getting a lot of stuff done and moving on. Oh, yeah, never go anything by plans. I keep planning to do things and yet other stuff gets in the way and I don't get the things I want done, done. So, the last two weeks has been crazy. Um, work, we started new instruments, which we went live on. And I've been staying late, about 30 minutes to an hour every day. So I've been getting home around midnight. And when I say midnight, it means i probably been home for a little bit, but I'm not doing anything productive because, yeah, I'm tired. Eight hour shifts is bad, but it's nine hour shifts are even worse because it's like, it's been crazy. Um, I've been so stressed. I'm not working on stuff, but I do have a lot of purchases, and it apparently is my way of relieving stress. Um, I was trying to figure out how to start my videos today, and I couldn't figure out. And I know everybody's always wanting to know more about the stitchers and what they do and how they do it. Well, I'm not an extreme stitcher. I'm I still consider myself a learning stitcher and I know a bunch of people still consider themselves learning after 30 plus years of pro experience and all that but I figured I'll show y'all one of my things that I do um, if you look behind me are little um, I would say toolkit drawers um, usually used in a workshop which show um, stores different types of um, screws bolts nuts and such well in my drawers I, I store all my extra DMCs. This is about the size of the drawer. Um, I store four colors in each drawer. I thought about doing one, but it's like, nah, that's too much because I would need um, four of those, and that's two. And I have some room at the bottom for miscellaneous stuff, which I can't usually reach it because I got stuff in front of those two rows. So it's like, I'm totally okay with this. Um, this drawer actually has 503, 504, 505, and 517, and the thread pretty much fits the drawer where it's not too cramped up, so this is only five skeins of thread, so I can actually store a lot of extra threads in here, and um, it's protected from my cats. Uh, my cat Midget loves chewing on threads and playing with it like it's, no, it's like the best thing in the world. So this kind of protects my threads. Um, plastic baggies, my kitty bear actually goes through and shreds the plastic. He loves chewing on anything. He's right down below me right now, sorry. Um, so this is my extra threads. My main set of threads is in a double-sided box similar to what Stitchy Mommy does. Um, eventually, this is gonna be my master set. Um, I actually have not used a lot of different, should I say, flavors of DMC. This is what I have used in wound on vomits. Um, it's not that many. I also have my needles, some wax, um, rings, and some other stuff down here. I have that Kynric blending filament type stuff down here. It's for different projects, which I haven't used. Um, I think I've used it on one thing so far, but I'm not sure. But this is my double sided. I did drop it, so you can break it. I have to get it replaced because that is very sharp. But that is my, going to be eventually my main storage system. It's the double-sided case. Um, don't know. That might be a few years down the road when I actually have used every color of DMC. Okay. Now, to finishes. I have no cross-stitch finishes. But I do have my diamond painting finish. Um, it's the Mandalorian and the Child. Um, 
I worked on it pretty much for about two hours every day after work. It's like I could listen to my um, lectures and then do my diamond painting at the same time. And I didn't have to touch any patterns, no nothing, because it's all on the diamond. All I just have to do is select the colors. Um, I love this. I just need to, I think it's called pressing it, make sure all the diamonds are in the right location or touched real good and then spray it with um, glue so it um, stays dust free and whatnot. There is cat hair in it. There's no way I can go without cat hair. I love how it sparkles. Um, my goal is actually try to maybe not fully finish it but get the glue and the rolling of it done so that I can fully finish it. And I really liked it to get be hung. Currently, I'm, my pop, pop thought of hanging it is right behind me or on the wall to the um, side of me in my living room. Um, I do have plans for other diamond painting because it's something I can do while listening to a lecture and it's no problem. Or listening to Floss 2 videos, which is totally fun. Um, my cross stitch. Hold on, I need a drink. Brought to you by Dr. Pepper. If you don't know what Dr. Pepper is, I'm sorry, you're missing a great thing. Okay, my cross stitch projects, I have only touched three things. Um, because of I've been so busy, I've been focusing on that diamond thing, painting, and I was, it's easier for me to just to pull that out, do a few colors, and put it up easily. Um, all I did was cover it back up with the plastic that came with it, and I was, I moved on. My cross stitch, I usually pull it out, try to decide what I want to do. Yeah. Um, this is my magazine monthly challenge. Um, last time I did the ear. Today, I literally did the head a little bit. And um, this was during my lecture. And then I had to put it down because I had to listen, watch a video and write an essay about the video. And I couldn't be in multiple programs on my um, iPad because if I left Zoom I couldn't hear anything with the video we were watching so yeah this is magazine monthly challenge bubble bubble from just crotch stitch Matt Chris Jess cross stitch magazine oh my gosh I'm not gonna function at all today anyways um, the cat is black so not much of a progress I really don't want to pull up my iPad to show you the picture so Y'all saw it last week. Um, I'll show it again next week or next time I video. Um, the second project I worked on is just in a plain simple bag. And I bought it, I think at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. But it fits my, I'm stitching this in the hand. This is a kit. This is actually for a coworker. My goal was to have it finished for her birthday in September. I started it in August, I think. And I didn't get very far. So my goal currently is try to get it done for Christmas. If I don't get it done for Christmas, I'll give it to her for her birthday next year, which means I have more time. But um, right now I work on this randomly. It's I worked on it the one day during lecture. Tell you the truth, sometimes I need something to focus on so that I don't start doing other things. Um, I'm trying to keep it a secret because I don't want her to know what it is before it's done um so you only get to see half of the project because the other half you can actually see what it is um like i said it was a kit i am working on this color my goal is to finish this color and then go back and do probably the other colors that are mixed in and then this right here should all be one color and I'll finish that probably last because I'm trying to think of get the hard stuff when I don't want to think and do the easy stuff when I wait do the hard stuff when I think and do the easy stuff when I don't want to think so um, secret project and oh yeah these clover clips was another purchase which I see a lot of people using which is totally awesome that quarter shop okay and my last project which everybody loves my wedding poster it's in my gyron stitchery bag i love the cats they're so awesome okay oops i'm losing my i'm losing my thread thingies my thread huggers 
which is another purchase, which I purchased it because this right here fabric was getting in my way. I have not done much on this project. Um, I did finish the corner over here and then I started the wheel. I was waiting until I could have a smaller piece of thread to do this right here, but I went and started the outline of the cap. My goal is, like I said, I don't want to have to think and look at the pattern. So I was going to do the outline of the cap, do the little spider, the four stitches for the spider, and then I can just fill it in as needed. I also have the, I'm calling a canoe boat. I have that to do, but um, I'm slowly going at it. Which this right here wasn't that bad. I don't have that much left to do on that wheel. I am so excited because I really want this done. This is done on Fortnite Fabric Caravan Tan on 32 count even weave. Yes, even weave is my color. What should I say? Even weave is my flavor of fabric that I love, and I love this color. It, it, it worked perfectly for this pattern. The two colors is Gentle Arts Parchment and Ox. So, uh, I actually do want to get this done this year. I really would love to have it done before um, Halloween, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen, but I could still dream. But that's the big project I want to work, I'm working on. Okay, so all my whips are done. Now to purchases. Purchases, I have a lot. Stress equals money equals spending. Um, Fat Quarter Shop is my on to, online go-to store. I love what they have. They don't have a humongous selection like everything cross stitch or one, two, three stitch, but they have a good enough selection that I love going online and being able to purchase stuff. Um, let's see. I am part of two different clubs, well, technically three clubs, but I got two of the clubs this month. The third club is a quarterly club, but, um, and I'm totally lost it now. Never mind, found it. Okay, the first club I am part of is the Floss Frenzy, which is a wheat style worth color club, and this is Silver Charm. Um, King Mackerel, which I have realized has a little bit of blue in it, and I absolutely love it. We got Porpoise, Graphite, Pebble, Seagull, and Tin Roof. So this is um, a monthly club, which every month you can go to their website and see what the um, color scheme is going to be. And every month is a different color scheme, so you're not going to get repeating colors for a while. Oh, I love this. This is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm trying to, should I say, build up my fancy floss collection, so this is a way to do it. Um, again, floss fancy, weeks that works. Uh, my next club I am is in the Prim Stitch Series, which is the um, Lori Hope design. Um, this is kindness and generosity. Um, I have not started this project. I do have the fabric for it and I was going to use my DMC threads that I have stashed. Uh, I want to start this before the end of the year. Right now, uh, oh my gosh, I really wish I could have already started it, but eh. But I am going to start this hopefully Thanksgiving, maybe Christmas um, this year. Definitely going to be working on it. Okay. Okay. That's once. That's my monthly clubs. My next set of purchases is I purchased two um, for different things. Um, okay. First one is the Serendipity Stitch Along that Fat Quarter Shop is going to do. I got the bag. It is a uh, harder plastic, which when you feel on the inside, it feels like mesh, which gives us that little line, line deal. This is um, for the stitch along that starts 
February 1st, 2021. I will be doing it. I already am trying to figure out how I'm going to do my color changes. And I'm not going to say how I'm going to do it yet, but I already picked out fabric for it. I just now need to figure out which fabric will work because I'm getting two different color fabrics. And then I just have to go and pick Fancy Floss. I'm thinking I'm using Fancy Floss. And um, which one would work better, which, which fabric color. Um, that's, I still have, what, November, December, January. I have three plus months to work on that. Um, I do have a bunch of floss in my cart at Fat Quarter Shop. I'm just waiting for the, to get to $80 so I can get the free shipping. Um, again, Fat Quarter Shop, awesome store. Um, also got a bunch of threads. Each one of these little packs have five different colors. I was like, yeah, I went to get the bag. So I just went ahead and got a bunch of threads. These are all gentle arts. I don't want to take them out of the bag because I think everybody knows what they look like, what they, what they look like. So I just kind of keep them in the bag for now. This is for a project that I am working on kitting up. It has multiple colors. Some of the stitches might be just one or two stitches, maybe a couple of dozen, and I might end up using DMC. Um, oh, these three bags is two each like one each and then this one has two but this is my my floss collection that i'm collecting of for one project um i might actually bought some for her just to have because i love blues i think blues are like awesome colors as you can tell anyways there's that um okay and i want to say in this Nope, that was all one purchase. And then I got another purchase, which I literally, I purchased that. And then next day they came out and I've been wanting these. This is the floss bitties that they come out with, which has the different designs. They, these floss cards are actually larger than the DMC ones in that off-brand one that my regular DMC is on. I like these. They're so pretty. This is the um, stitchy one, and then this is the one I was waiting on, which is the Halloween, which is totally me. Um, the back has Fat Quarter Shop. This one has. It's so Emma Stitchery. So it's so Emma is um, their publishing house part, I guess you could say. But I got these. Well. Since I bought those, I was like, I need some more stuff. And so I went through my wish list and went ahead and got um, a set of patterns that I want. And I'm going to stitch, which is also major plans. This one is Welcome to the Forest. This is by Country College Needleworks. I got, um, they had the whole series as a set. So I bought them all. A pink house. Oops, there goes my pattern. There's the blue house. A bear with the honeycomb and bee, a deer, an owl, a raccoon and a rabbit, and then a fox and a squirrel. And since I bought that, I went ahead and got the floss for it, which is um, snowball, hazelnut, really tilly, which is such a pretty blue. Um, Jolly Holly and Blushing Beauty. So, all I need now is figure out what fabric. They have it on a light brown or tan color fabric. So, I'm probably going to stay with that, but I'm probably going to end up doing it on one of my hand-dyed fabric clubs or fabrics that I have. Um, okay. My stack is getting smaller. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, I've lost my train of thought. Hold on. Okay. My other haul is fabrics. So that was all my floss, which I got from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, they are my preferred online shopping. 
Um, they are local in Texas. They are south of Austin, between Austin and San Antonio's way I figure it. So most of the stuff that I ordered, once they ship it, I get it within two days because of where I'm located. Because it literally goes through the hub and then to me off at the post office. Um, the other thing is I got a bunch of fabric. I watch Fortnite fabrics, Mary with Stitches, and I absolutely love those guys. They're so awesome to watch. Um, so when they came out with their fall autumn spread, purchased. This was back in July, August. I don't even remember when it was, but they finally sent these out. I got them probably within a couple of days of my last videos. Um, this is Blueberry Cobbler, Grandma Stuffing, Deep Fried. Sorry, the plastic. I am keeping them in there so I don't lose them. The paper that goes with it. The greens. Oh, that's okay. Um, liver pudding. And cranberry sauce. This is all on 32 count even weave. My favorite is this bright blue and then this gray blue. Although the green is really up there, so is the reddish color. But, and I figure neutrals are always good. Um, I did get their, oops, sorry, their spring summer spread too, um, collection. Why am I saying spread? It's fall. Okay. Um, and I am not part of the monthly club, but I'm okay with that. Um, I thought about joining and then it's like, nah, I'm on a monthly club with someone else. So that's where I'm getting most of my fabric from right now, but I like Fortnite Fabrics, I think they are awesome what they're doing, and I will continue buying their collections as they come out, probably as soon as I see that they come out. Okay, my next set of purchase is um, from Be Stitch Me. Um, Friday night, fight night. Um, I may never do it again, but I enjoyed it. I love her fabrics. I think they're awesome, the colors. Um, I purchased a lot of their her fabrics and I have nothing stitched yet on them but I want to stitch a lot of stuff um, most of my jam for fabric wise I get even weave um, I am working with I got a bunch of 32 count and this time I decided with the Friday night fight night I went and grabbed a bunch of linen well most of the even weave were gone and then I figured why not linen I want to learn and I figured I could find something that would work on it. So, this is my one Friday night fight night win, which I feel bad because I bought so much, but I'm totally okay with it because, excuse me, I am going to buy a bunch more of her stuff. Um, so, this is a 32 count linen called Shadow. This is autumn 30, wait, autumn 28 count linen. Which, I love these fabrics. I love colors. This is Vampire Kiss on 28 count linen. I'm thinking something dark or totally light in color on that. And then this is Halloween. Um, 28 count linen. And then my last two is actually the same color. One is Even Weave, Jubilin 28 count. And the other one is a Linen 40 count. Okay, this is the linen remastered. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this blue. And then this is the Jobelin remastered. It's, you can see it's the exact same colors. It's just the fabric ticks and the dye different. And it's totally different effects. I like the this lighter dye effects because you, to me, I don't like it when the fabric outshines the pattern. So on the darker blue one, I'm probably gonna end up doing something that would actually show up a whole lot better. Sorry about the crinkles. Um, better on the linen because of the bright colors. I, that's something that I worry about, but I love the blues. I think they're awesome. Okay, that is all my haul. I do have other haul coming. And you would think I would stop shopping by now, but no. I do have other haul coming. I do have one thing I want to say is I got, let me show you, the Halloween box from Be Stitch Me. 
I have not opened it other than opening the box, looking in, and I want to do a video on the unboxing. I'm going to do that as soon as I finish this video so that if you did not purchase it, you can kind of see what is in it and so you can experience what Be Stitch Me Halloween holiday box is like. I do have her Christmas box coming. And I can't wait to open that one either. I'm more excited to open this one since it's like two feet from me. And it's like, I need to open it now. But, okay. Um, okay. Non-cross stitch haul. I did buy diamond painting. I don't know if I showed you this one the last time. But I have two diamond paintings I want to work on. I cannot decide which one. I think I'm just going to do them in order of purchase. This one is do what makes you sparkle a diamond art club i purchased this from hobby lobby this is a black and white it's just a horse it has 16 colors it's like a wintery horse scene um i'm thinking i'm gonna do this one um it is smaller than the um i want to say yoda and just <laughs> it's the mandalorian and child um i think i can work start working on that one i'm pretty sure i'm gonna work start working on it um not today probably next week when my stress level is to the point where I need to do something because I want to work on cross stitching the rest of this week and over my weekend holiday. And then this one, I went back to Joanne's. I got Star Wars Darth Vader. It is bigger than the Mandalorian and Child, but it's also only 14 colors. I think the Mandalorian was 30 something, but I am wanting to go, I need to go online and find one of those diamond pins that will do multiple diamonds at once because this is all one color and then much of this is all one color. And what I learned with the child, it's boring when you have probably 50 to 100 squares of the same color and it's like, oh, 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 I like to do, I like to speed up a little bit because to me, if it's the same color, I should not be spending that much time on that area. So. Um, my plan, start one of those. My cross stitching plans and continue to working on my, um, can't even think, my wanted poster by the Primitive Hair. I did not say the Primitive Hair would ago. Please go to her, her Etsy shop. She has a bunch of awesome stuff. She also has stuff in the Just Cross Stitch magazines. So, please go to her. Um, wanted poster and I would like to get the small goal is to finish the outline of the cat get the spider in um, and maybe do the boat a little bit because I would really love to get all the black done and then go back to well, ox and then go back and do the parchment so my small goal is to finish the outline of the cat and do a little bit more as as I listed um, my other one is to work on my magazine monthly challenge. I still want to finish all those ones that I didn't finish last month since I'm repeating them this month. I would love to get them all done and I'm trying to figure out who I can rope in to help me finish them, make them all fully finishes so that I could have something hanging up in my background or just hang up somewhere in my house. Um, what else? Okay, please catch my video for the unboxing of the Halloween um, box. Um, I want to say thank you again for all viewers and subscribers. Um, and I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Um, have fun stitching on your awesome projects.